Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this K Duo Plus from Keurig. This is a really nice coffee maker. It's a $200 coffee maker and K cup single serve coffee maker. So we really want to keep up on the descaling. You're going to have to give yourself about an hour and a half to do this because it does have a K cup side and a coffee maker side. So in this video, I'm going to do distilled white vinegar. I've got another video where I use the descaling solution from Keurig. This is probably the better. It's $20 off of Amazon or $6 at Walmart. Now Amazon does sell this and I had to try it out because it's got a bunch of reviews and it's a little bit cheaper, but it's also a lot smaller. I don't like it though. Um, it seems more soapy and I had trouble kind of rinsing it towards the end because it just seemed like it had a lot of, a lot of sudsy. Now this one does suds up a little bit, but nothing near like this. This one doesn't suds up like soap or anything, but it just has a really strong uh, kind of smell and taste. So again, check out the other video if you want to use the descaling solution. Like I said, $6. This is $1.50 from Walmart for 64 fluid ounces. So again, we want to keep up. We want to do this every three to six months on this machine. If your coffee is not tasting right, or if the water, the coffee is not at the right temperature, um, that could be signs that it's needing to be descaled. Or if it's taking longer to brew, it also could be a sign that it needs descaled. So the first thing we're going to do, make sure there's no K-cup. For this entire process, we're going to leave that open. And here, no coffee or filter, we're going to leave that open for the entire process. Next, we're going to empty out the water that we do have in the reservoir. And if you've got your water filter... Um, carbon water filter. I've got my carbon water filter out right now, but if this is in there, we're going to remove this for the entire process and we'll put it in toward, at the very end. So I'm going to go empty this out and we'll put in our um, vinegar. So you don't necessarily have to have a measuring cup, but I'm going to show you, I'll show you where it ends up being on the reservoir. We're not going to fill this whole thing up with, with um, vinegar. So we're, I'm going to put 14 ounces of, this is the pure white vinegar. That was a little bit more, but that's okay. So we're going to dump that in there. So it comes up just about to the bottom of the handle. That's going to be white vinegar. Now I'm going to do another 14 ounces of water. And 14 ounces, is it's roughly close to two cups. So we're going to put that water in there now. So with the water and the vinegar in there, that's where it comes up to. So it's almost to the six mark. Okay, I've got my water and vinegar in. I'm gonna get my, we're gonna do the K-cup side first. So I got my container uh, that I'm gonna catch the water with. Again, make sure no K-cup. I'm gonna turn the unit on. I'm gonna select the K-cup side, 12 ounce, and brew. What that's gonna do is that's gonna brew that vinegar and water through the K-cup side. Then I'll throw this away when it's done. Okay, so it ran that through. Now I'm gonna go throw this away. I'm gonna put the coffee maker underneath there. Make sure this is empty. Again, I've ran it down to about there. I'm not gonna add anything else. I'm gonna select the coffee pot side, the 12. Even though I don't have 12 ounces of, of 12 cups of water in here, it wants me to select the 12, then the brew button. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna suck that, that uh, reservoir completely dry of the vinegar and the water. Okay, so the pump ran dry. It ran everything out of the reservoir. It stopped brewing. The add water light came on. Now we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to rinse this out, rinse that out and fill it up with fresh water. Okay, so I rinsed this out with, I washed all this out with soap and water to make sure and get all that vinegar out. And I've got it filled up with just fresh water to the max. Okay, again, make sure I cleaned this out too. It had some of the vinegar and stuff in there. Make sure there's no K cup. I cleaned this out too. Make sure it's empty. So we're going to do the coffee maker side first. We're going to do three reservoirs full of water through the coffee maker side. And then we're going to do four 12 ounce uh, on the K cup side. Okay, so I've got my fresh water. I'm going to hit the 
coffee maker side, 12 ounce, and brew. Again, make sure that's empty. That's gonna run the fresh water now through the coffee maker side. That's gonna take about 10 minutes per pot. So it's gonna take about 30 minutes to do just this rinse on the coffee maker side. Again, three uh, reservoirs, so basically three pots on the coffee maker side. Once that's done, we'll take the coffee pot out and we'll switch over to a container and do the, the cake up side. Okay, so I've ran three pots of water, three coffee pots of water through here to kind of rinse out the vinegar. You could do a fourth one if you wanted to. I mean, the vinegar is a little stronger than the Keurig solution. Um, but I, I, don't, I have not noticed any after lingering taste by just doing three uh, waters on the coffee maker side. So now let's do the cake up side. We're going to make sure that's empty still. We're going to take our coffee pot out. We're going to put a container down here. Okay, so I've filled this back up with water. Up my container. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to press the cake up side. Cake up, 12, brew. I want to do this four times. That's going to run that's going to run water through a different area of the machine. Basically the K-cup side. So we want to clean the K-cup side out. And you could do five uh, 12 ounce brews if you wanted to. Again, you're going to have to be here for this because this, this is pretty quick. So I hope the video helps. If you've got any questions on how I descaled this with white vinegar, leave them in the comments down below. I check my comments on a daily basis and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, check out my video. I got a video on how to descale with the Keurig solution. I'm going to show you how to clean the needles on this and also a detailed review on how to use it. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.